Sean Randolph and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my reaction to Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane both resigning essentially. Um, obviously many, many uh, media outlets have reported this morning that Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane had meetings with the FAI in regards to their position and apparently have mutually agreed to leave their role which is fantastic news because we're coming towards the end of a really really toxic year and it's just it's it's been a tough year let's not lie since the Denmark game for, uh, last year they should have went then I think it would have been a bit better for them to go at the time you know they'll argue that the, you know they've done a good job up to that point but the last year has just been abysmal I think the the key point in this was the time when Declan Royce refused to declare for Ireland and then there was the Stephen Ward WhatsApp message in regards to Harry Arthur and John Walters. So there was a lot of you know dismay in the camp, there was a lot of pointing fingers and this and that, but uh, it, it, and it was all becoming very embarrassing. O'Neill didn't know whether, you know, O'Neill uh, didn't know whether Royce was t talking to England and all this type of stuff and he was just making it fairly embarrassing and then obviously just just gone there when he didn't know about Michael Obafemi playing for or didn't know whether he wanted to declare for Ireland or not and he called him up so just it's just a bizarre kind of time and you know I'm, as 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 nice as it is that they're gone we cannot forget like there was times like the Euros uh, big wins, Bosnia, Germany, you know, Italy, Lille, even putting it up to France. So, I mean, we uh, we did endure good times under O'Neill, but the argument that we don't have the players, I think, isn't true. I think, you know, bar maybe three, four, five people who retired, the squad's not much different to the squad that was in the Euros. You know, um, an aging Robbie Keane, an aging Shea Given, an aging John O'Shea, an aging John Walters even at that point, and arguably it's a Wes Hulin as well. So they've all retired since, and obviously big characters in the dressing room. But to say that we don't have the players, you know, a lot of those players would have played in the Euros. There's still James McCarthy to come back into that midfield role, which I think he's been sorely, sorely missed, and I think people forget you know, the, the role and the job he played. And probably because the fact that when he was in there, we were doing well. But people seem to disregard that position. Same with Glenn Whelan, another player who's retired since, um, but only recently. So look, I mean, positive going into the new year now. We have a positive look. We need to, We it, it, I suppose it was vital to get rid of him at this point, just simply because fans were getting to the point where they wanted to boycott games and we can't afford that as fans. We can't afford that, you know, people not going to games because they can't get out of our own half. You know, it, it's it's not it's not it's not making for for um good signs going forward. So like it's it's just one of them, isn't it? So, you know, we go we need to back the new manager. All of us, we need to back the new manager. We need to get behind him. If it's if it's a new manager coming in with new ideas and whether he wants to play football or it's a modern day manager, we might need to be patient. We might need to be patient, and some people might not like that, but we might need to be patient. And I'm willing to be patient if there's signs of progress there, if there's signs of you know creating chances and stuff like that, because at the last. The last year itself has just been disastrous trying to watch us get four create chances and just we never look like doing anything never mind scoring goals we never get into the opposition's half under Martin O'Neill he's just very 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 defensive and likes to nick a win I would like to see us change our approach a lot of our players now are playing this modern football way where they like to get it down the keep and there's players in that squad that are more than capable you look at the likes of Robbie Brady Jeff Hendrick even Ender Stevens. Uh, they're more than capable of getting the ball down and playing it around as well. They get, get Ender Stevens forward, whipping balls in for people. You know, get them up the pitch. Same thing with Seamus Coleman. Seamus Coleman doesn't turn shit overnight. You know, it's the system that doesn't seem to work. Same with Matt Doherty. There's another player who, who can play ball as well. Very good player. 
we do have options. We do have players, despite what people say. It's just a, it's just a lazy argument. We don't have the players. It's a lazy, lazy argument. We have better players. If you go in terms of playing in top level leagues than Wales, Scotland, so and Northern Ireland. So to tell me that we don't have the players is ridiculous. They're all playing for their clubs in Premier League for Premier League clubs. So they're playing at the highest level. So I'm not I'm not having that. So the new manager needs to come in and we need to have an identity again and that's crucial we get our identity back. Where it's a new identity, where we get the ball down, we try to play football. I don't mind get, tr getting beaten, but trying to play and tr trying to play to win. But going out not to lose and just park the bus, no fan wants that. No fan wants that. So, yeah, look, uh, it's a new era now. As I said, we need to get, we need to back the new manager and we need to get that atmosphere back. Whether it's away games or home games, we need to get the atmosphere back and get behind the team again because it looks like they're suffering because we're turning against the management or the last management. So it's vital now that we get behind the team. You know, none of this cursing uh, the management, the new management, the FAI. Let's just get behind our team. Let's just get behind our manager and behind our team from now. And then when we, when we, we've obviously got the draw coming up on December 2nd for the Euros. That would be crucial. And then I'd say January-ish, look to appoint a new manager. Get him in. Get him looking at. He, he might find some, some players there to, to call up. Whatever. We might see Declan Royce decide to actually declare now because Keane is gone. That might be a factor. It might have been a factor from the beginning. Who knows? But let us know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I'm a bit dressed up today I'm on, I'm on the way out to somewhere but uh, now let us know your thoughts in the comments it'll be interesting to, to hear who you want as manager personally if I was to pick one uh, if I had three picks my top pick would be Chris Hewton my second pick would be Stephen Kenny and my third pick oof, I'm going to say Mick McCarthy but I don't really want him I'd rather have one of the top one or the other two in there and that's just my opinion um, crucify me in the comments all you like uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe as well. We're aiming for the 4K before 2019. We're only about 300 away now. So please, it'd be vital if you could just hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.